I'm Dr. Webb. I'm the rehab therapist at Southeast Veterinary Neurology in Boynton Beach. Today here we have Olive. She is our five-year-old French Bulldog who had back surgery about two and a half weeks ago. What I'm gonna do is um, review all of the post-op exercises I recommend for our patients who go home after surgery. There are five common exercises that I recommend for our post-op patients. This is gonna help keep them flexible, it's gonna help their range of motion, and then also neurosensory. So the first one is just a simple one of massage. Our post-op patients tend to have a lot of tightness in their muscles in their neck and their shoulders because they're leaning forward a lot to get the weight off of their back legs. So you want to just apply gentle pressure. It's gonna be firmer than what you would do to pet him or her, but you wanna make sure that you do a deep tissue massage of the neck and especially the shoulders. And normally I recommend at least for 15 minutes a day. Prom is passive range of motion. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the affected limbs, depending on what kind of surgery your pet may have, you may need to do it to the front and the back legs, but you're gonna put it in a bicycle type motion as if they were either riding a bike or even just simply walking forward. And again, this is gonna help with their passive range of motion to make sure that we keep all of the joints moving and, and they don't get too stiff. Some dogs may not want to stand for their range of motion, which is okay. You can do it while laying down. You're going to support their hip with your one hand, and you're still going to do the bicycle motion with that leg. However, you want to make sure the leg stays parallel with the floor, and when your dog's foot would hit the ground, you want to use your hand to provide that friction they would have while touching the ground taking a step. Then the third is something called a withdraw reflex. It is a reflex that you pinch in between their toes and it doesn't hurt them, but it causes a reflex for them to draw their leg away from you. It's just like when the doctor hits your knee with a hammer. Us pinching is like the hammer and them drawing away is like our leg kicking up. This is again gonna help with neurosensory, some strengthening aspects as well. The fourth one is cookie stretches. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a cookie and you're gonna put it in front of your dog and then you're gonna go to the left to make them stretch their uh, neck to the left, then to the right, up and down. And this is really supposed to just help stretch their muscles out that have gained a lot of weight over the last couple weeks when your pet may be experiencing the neurological issues. And then the last is weight shifting. So a lot of your pets won't be able to stand on their own yet. So we recommend that you sit behind them. What you're gonna do is put your hand between their back legs to support them. And you're gonna gently shift that hand side to side and then front to back. And this will allow them to practice their neurosensory where they kind of have to catch themselves and also strengthening because their muscles will be contracting at the same time. The most common question I get from clients are when they can start these exercises. These are completely safe to start right away when you get your pet home. If you have any questions during them, please comment below or go ahead and give us an email at rehabpbc at savneurology.com. 